The Last of Us is here. How realistic is the idea of a fungus zombie? I'm hoping not very. The Last of Us is a game that is out this week about fungus running rampant, destroying civilization, and turning people into these blind, zombie-like creatures that hunt you in the dark by making clicking noises and listening for the echoes. Dark. Is that a thing? Tell me that's not a thing. It's kind of a thing. The developers of the game were inspired by Cordyceps, a genus of about 400 species of parasitic fungi that grow on insects and arthropods. The Last of Us is based specifically on Cordyceps unilateralis. The spores of the fungus land on carpenter ants and germinate, and then they get into the ant's body through the trachea. And then these filaments called mycelia start to grow inside the insect's body cavity and absorb its body tissue, leaving the organs alone except the brain. The mycelia get all up in that brain and then they produce these chemicals that control the ant's mind and make it march up to this high open space and then it eats the brain and grows out through the ant's joints. So now it's grown to maturity safely and set itself up in a place where it can spread its spores easily. Now, cordyceps cannot infect humans. They cannot. They've evolved to work on insects and arthropods specifically. We're much larger. We're much different organisms. We have much more powerful immune systems. Humans do get their share of fungal infections, but it's more stuff like athlete's foot, jock itch, yeast infections, stuff like that. Nothing zombifying. Certainly not pretty, but not zombifying. So no horrifying fungus people. But what about their horrible, horrible clicking sound? Echolocation is basically when an animal makes a call in its environment and then figures out what's in it based on the echoes that come back. Bats use it along with dolphins, beluga whales, some birds, but humans can do it too. The blind call it flash sonar, and in some cases, they can use it so well that they can do things like ride bikes safely down the street. A study recently conducted by the University of Southampton's Institute of Sound and Vibration Research showed that blind and sighted people all have at least a small ability to echolocate, but it seems like it works differently in the blind. In 2011, University of Western Ontario researchers hooked blind and sighted people up to an fMRI and asked them to use flash sonar. In the sighted people, the scan didn't look very interesting, but in the blind subjects, the auditory cortex didn't light up. The calcerine cortex did. That's the part of the brain that's involved with processing visual information. They were seeing the sound. And while sighted members of studies have been able to find the position of objects, blind members could also sense the motion and density of them. So yes, you could be hunted by clicks in the dark alone, just not by a fungus zombie. So play The Last of Us feeling relatively safe, knowing that the apocalypse will probably happen some other way. By the way, if you're into the idea of The Last of Us and you want to know more about its inspirations, other stuff that's like it, check out my buddy Max Scoville's study hall episode all about the game and subscribe here for more D-News.